So guys, in today's video, talking about the uh, sort of TV, I think that's what it's called. Starting off, this vehicle has a very interesting suspension, which we'll get into later. So it's kind of a problem. It has three seats base, one extra seat if you get one of the turrets. It has an interesting layout, as a cockpit design, which sometimes will throw you off thinking you're going to get into your... Uh, vehicle by getting in here, which clearly don't. Overall, it I hit 6k for a maxed out variant of it. And other than that, let's get right into testing it. First off, you'd think this thing is unarmored from the front, like, like protecting its passengers. Well, they messed up the hitbox and somehow haven't fixed it yet, so you can just do this. It'll be fine. Do this, be fine. I don't think you go to the ghost of wrong and shoot. Nope, we're good. And then, issue your left and right passenger side, technically driver's side, goes right through. Anything can go through, especially this open top 50, it's kind of not worth it. But added armor is really all you need, because your gunner is just going to get lit up immediately. Even if you have turret plates on the side of it, or whatever it is, it, you're just gonna die immediately. Now let's get into actually driving this thing. From what I noticed, the devs heavily exercised that it was meant for off-roading, as you can tell by the suspension. I think this vehicle is fictional, I don't think it's in service for any country. But... <laughs> We're just gonna get into the stats. I think it goes faster than the Jeep, so I believe it's the fastest ground vehicle in the game. Uh, the top speed, yeah, 80 kilometers. That's like 60 miles an hour or something like that. It's turning not the best. It gets fidgety, like you can fling for some reason. Try and demonstrate that, but the suspension just doesn't really work it's kind of stiff it doesn't really keep you soft which like that was just purposeful but it just here you can test out the front armor these are not their aim isn't that good but we can completely fine from the front not from the side i'm probably gonna get hit something like that yep but it goes fast but about it its armor isn't that good I'm gonna stop here I don't think you're gonna buy this just for its off-roading capabilities I think you're gonna buy this to get around the map but since it's like five dollar item just you're paying for this and a uniform and a skin I don't really think it's worth it sure you get this and you get the uniform with the cool ghillie suit add-on or whatever it is but I just don't see it worth it I'd just rather get the Chinook if you're a new player. And that's about it. 